This is a list of goods and sundries. You will take it to be filled and return immediately. Take your tag. Tell Bartholomew to add it to our debt. Yes, miss. Where are you from, Platt? I told you. Tell me again. Washington. Who were your master? Master name of Freeman. Was he a learned man? I suppose so. He learned you to read? A word, here or there. But I've no understanding of the written text. Don't trouble yourself with it. Same as the rest, master bought you here to work, that's all. Any more, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. So Sarah, one thing I, I loved about this picture is that it really showed the women of this period, which often gets lost in these tales. Mm -hmm. how, how, did, how was that nuance to you in seeing that character being built? Well, I play a very particular woman at that time uh, that I really do think existed, and Solomon writes about her in the book, so um, I tried to take a great deal of reference from that. And, um, you know, I just, to me it was really important to not judge her because she does a lot of terrible things. She behaves really inexcusably. But I had to try to find out who that woman was mm -hmm. behind all of those actions. And she's really just a terrified wife who's being humiliated and uh, is really a product of the time. You know, you, you are who you are raised by, really. And right. she doesn't know any better. And she's not, I think, emotionally or psychologically complicated enough or deep enough to try to do better than she does. So she behaves in ways that are inexcusable. How do you think this story applies today? I mean, a lot of people are going to digest this story in different, you know, from different lenses. What do you think? Well, I think, first of all, it's a Im very important part of our country's history that I think when you put a very personal face on, it, it, you're able to take in the, the, the full body of the story in a much bigger way. Um, but I think everybody in their life, although to not perhaps this extreme, can experience some um, level of feeling um, disenfranchised and um, kept mm -hmm. and you know freedom is a very lucky thing that all, we are all blessed to have but it just isn't true for everyone in the world right. in varying degrees so so in that way you know I think it can it's just it, to me there's parts of this story that that I didn't even know about you know the idea that free people were were taken is a big piece of this story and right. And I just feel like this is a, is a book that should go hand in hand with anything you're reading in a text in junior high school or high school or college when you're studying the history of slavery in the United States. How did this character sit different with you, or, or were you able to divorce it, if you will, after, afterwards, uh, different than Mary Lee or Lucy, which you played before? Mm -hmm. After this movie is over, were you able to just, you know, kind of leave uh, Mistress I think every single part that you play kind of lives inside of you always, um, for me anyway. but. You know, this was a hard one because of subject matter. And we were shooting in New Orleans, and the, the city itself has a great uh, sense of history. And so you kind of feel it. And But I feel like you should. One should, just like when you go to see the movie. Steve says something very great about how, you know, why does it going to the movies have to be a passive experience? It doesn't just have to be about eating popcorn and having some raisinets, you know. The, this is a movie that actually involves the, you, the audience member as well. You, mm -hmm. you can't really sit there just idly. It's a kind of visceral experience. And my last question is, why do you think uh, Solomon's character frustrated the Epps so much? Is, you know, just him as a, a person or, uh, I think or not Solomon as a person? Solomon probably didn't know what to, to, to make of, of I mean, uh, Epps doesn't know what to make of a man as, it was just has not been in his experience. It's all about ignorance, you know. Mm -hmm. Ignorance, you know, it makes you blind, so. Well. Great character. I mean, I, ha I hated you I hated you. you. Screen, that means I did my job. But you did you your job. you hated me, then I did I my job. I hated you. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for a great performance Thank and being true much. to the... Character. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you very much.